Thank you very much, uh, Juliana. Thank you very much. So it's my pleasure to be here in this event to talk about to talk about the hydrogen with particular focus on marine sector, marine time sectors and offshore applications. So my talk today is based on our recent uh, uh, project funded by the Marine UK. So it's called Land, Sea and Port, Smart Integration of a Hydrogen Highway. So I would like to start with a very brief introduction of the research activities conducted in my Department of Naval Architecture, Ocean and Marine Engineering. So we are, we are, we are rather, well, the leading center for the marine tech knowledge. So before 2020, so we have spent a lot of efforts focus, focusing on the shipping and offshore oil and gas. But over the last uh, 10 years, last decades, our vision is transferred to the sustainability. Um, so there are two main research units in my department. One is called the Sustainable Marine Time Transport Unit. Another one is called the Ocean Renewable Energy Unit. So in the, in the Sustainable Marine Transport Unit, one of the co-research activity is to work on clean fuel technology in order to reduce the emission from the shipping industry. And the hydrogen, is the one we identified as a best candidate to replace the heavy diesel in the shipping industry. So we have recently been granted a few projects on these hydrogen powered ships, including this Innovate UK funded project, uh, Chain Ship, so which is looking at the solution to retrofit an existing ship with a hydrogen powertrain. The other one is called the reship, or is recently um, uh, granted uh, uh, by Horizon Europe. So this is to look at the hydrogen on board solution and to use a novel hydrogen carrier called uh, HydroCO to save storage space. So in both of these two projects, we will demonstrate the hydrogen power ships in sea trials. In the Ocean Renewable Energy Research Unit, we focus more on offshore renewable energy. For example, the offshore wind, offshore wave, and also PV. We identify that hydrogen could be a very good carrier for energy storage, particularly when the offshore assets are far away from the coast. So we recently led a, a project called the Ocean Refuel to investigate the potential of harnessing the offshore wind and marine renewable energy to produce zero carbon, zero carbon hydrogen and also the ammonia, ammonia fuel as well. Um, so in this Mary, Mary UK project, we are more ambitious. So we try to build a network and a hydrogen highway to link the offshore renewable with the maritime shipping, as well as the ports and offshore hydrogen demand. So in this project, in this Marine, Marine UK project, we will look at the offshore hydrogen generation by using the electricity generated by the offshore wind. And the hydrogen will be transported by using the autonomous network transport ships to the port facilities. We will investigate both the software and the infrastructure support in order to build this hydrogen highway. So this hydrogen heavy project is led by Port of London Authority with uh, partnerships with um, OS Energy, with um, Newcastle Maritime Service, with OIE Catford, with uh, University of uh, Strathclyde, University of Kent, and University of uh, Birmingham, and also, and also um, HSE. So this project uh, will have uh, six work packages. So in this, work, in, in this project, we will look at, the, we, we, will, we will investigate the hydrogen demand and also demonstration of hydrogen fuel cell power ship and design the offshore hydrogen generation platforms to investigate the business case and econo economic, e e e economic model to develop an autonomous network transport ship system. And also finally, look at the safe marine carriage. Um, and this hydrogen highway project, Strathclyde University, 
is mainly involved on work package three and uh, work package five. So work package three, the focus on the modular design of hydrogen platforms and the three unit, including the containerized green hydrogen production unit, the hydrogen storage unit, and the, um, the hydrogen offloading unit will be integrated into this platform. We will show two case studies. So the first one will investigate how to retrofit an existing oil and gas platform in order to accommodate the hydrogen generation, storage, and offloading unit. So the second one is to propose a design for floating wind farm. So when this water is uh, it goes to deep, go, go, goes deeper, and the assets are far from the shore, where the infrastructure may not be sufficient. In work package five, so we are involved in the design of the autonomous system in order to support the network transport ships connecting the offshore terminal to the ports in a seamless way. So particularly, we will focus on the uh, uh, autonomous berthing and uh, mooring operations for these ANTS ships. So that is a guarantee is a, is a bottleneck for this autonomous ship. Um, so that this, high, this hydrogen highway project will be demonstrated in the lab level in the Kelvin Hydrodynamic Laboratory. So the hydrogen platforms, as well as the ANTS ships will be modeled physically and the autonomous system will be integrated into this model to test the efficiency of the autonomous networking transport at sea. So that is my talk. Thank you very much. So, Chairman, I will hand over to you.